Okay, everybody, welcome back to the Fashion Hive. We missed you guys so, so much. It has been a little hiatus without you guys, but we've been working on some big things and we're back stronger and better than ever with some new plans for the future. And we are so excited to have you guys back with us. Yeah, a little hive yeah. hiatus. Yeah, you know what I mean? Love it. We take a little high vacation. Yes. <laughs> like a vacation before the hives, okay? Absolutely. <laughs> well, like Shaylee said, it's great to be back. We're super excited. Um, it definitely, we've, we've been seeing the messages and the comments and everything else. Everyone asking us, where have you been? Are you coming back? Well, we're back. Um, I Maybe we can get a press release the day of we're back <laughs> michael jordan style right we're yeah, back absolutely. coming out of retirement <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so it's great to be back like shaley mm -hmm. said there's a lot of things that we're going to be doing um differently a lot of things that we hope to uh spur a lot more for you guys a lot more buy-in um and and part of that is the long awaited uh bringing on i don't even know the long-awaited grand reveal <laughs> grand, grand reveal. reveal okay look at that <laughs> give me some clout okay uh, yeah. angelica deshawn yes. uh so we're super excited to have you on for Thank those of you, you guys who have been following from the beginning uh following our social media from the beginning you probably saw her post uh announcing that she was with us yes. but she never really was here a so girl is working <laughs> okay she got jobs she loves jobs jobs all, jobs. all the jobs honey. it's what can't she do not okay, what can't so she let's, do okay so let's let's hit this okay what let's talk about it okay <laughs> so let's jump right in shall we to me all right so again angelica deshawn angelica deshawn um super happy to be here y'all you know i love you guys off the scene so being able to show everybody that on the scene is a beautiful thing <laughs> um so just to give you a little bit about me y'all already know but for the peoples for the people um so again i have been a part of kansas city fashion week now for shoot i can't even remember how many seasons and i like to start there because of the fact like my story really is like a go get it story. Like if there's one thing that I want people to know about Angelica Deshawn is I'm a hustler baby <laughs> <laughs> in my Jay-Z voice and I'm goofy. So look, this is who I am. If you know me, this is who I am. Uh, she doesn't change off the camera, on the camera. This is who I am. But um, you can find me backstage, KCFW. But like I said, the way that it all started really was maybe shoot 10 seasons ago now. Um, started from the bottom like to quote drake big hip-hop fan if you haven't already noticed in all my <laughs> quotes here um but literally started coming in and i came in just as someone who was like yo i'm just gonna volunteer backstage like i just want to be in the building um and that all started really for going back 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 in the day to just how i even came into fashion is uh again it was always something that i knew i was going to do kansas city has been my home i was born in iowa but this has been my home i've grown up here I am a true Kansas Cityan. I always knew Kansas City was going to be on the come up list. Like, we already knew. Like, if you lived here, like, okay, yeah. Like, we did have a time where we did not have the glow up, okay? <laughs> but we got a whole makeover, honey. Absolutely. And we, absolutely, right? So give us the liposuction. Give us here. the lipo. We got the 360. We got the mommy makeover. We got all of it. All the doctors were at the table, honey, and they got us all the way right. And here we are. Like, Casey got a BBL. They got a BBL, honey. <laughs> she got a whole big old booty, Judy. That's Casey. So with that, you know, I always knew that she was destined. Kansas City was destined to be a powerhouse. And I knew, you know, our sports teams, shout out to um, our sports teams and really putting us on the map. But also shout out to us in Kansas City Fashion Week, like for real, right? Give yeah. us give us our flowers for real. And I think that's that's the one thing that I really want to push to in my narrative to you throughout today's conversation is when it comes to fashion, people really underestimate like the dopeness of Kansas City. Right. And and really the reason why too, they're like, What 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 can y'all do? Right? You're in the middle of the you're in the heartland. What, who's giving nobody with heart knows fashion fashion is not a heart business honey we love us some fashion we are a heart but we we bring in people from all over and the dope thing about us is that we can touch these other states so we're in the position where we can see this state what they're doing there what they're doing here we bring it all back to middle and we show you how it's done right Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? It's, no. a, it's a good middle ground. It's a good middle ground. It's a great middle ground. Now we don't have ocean, but we got some lakes, honey. We can show you a beach look on the lake. Go to Lake 
Uh, what is Longview Lake? There, there's a beach. Okay. Lake of the Ozark. You know oh, what I that's mean? That's true. <laughs> so we can give you any, what what season, and that's another thing. People are asleep on that because LA, they can give you summer looks. You can get that summer vibe occasionally. You go to the bay, you get that fall vibe. But we can give you every season look, honey. We can in, one you, week. in one week. <laughs> in one week. Literally today. I woke up, it was winter. I take the dog out, it's spring. You know, it comes back to fall. And then, you know, I'm in 122 degrees and at the pool in my beach. Look, look, in one day. You're right, girl. Like, <laughs> uh, But anyway, I get, off, I get off topic. But again, started coming in to KCFW, knowing that from the beginning, I always wanted to do fashion. I, was, I went to school um, at CMSU, shout out to the Mules, UCM now. Um, and I was a PR major with a minor in fashion merchandising, dope program. People were always saying to me, Angelica, you wanna do fashion, but you're, you're, you're in Kansas City. Like, you don't wanna relocate. I got a dope opportunity in New York, but they didn't wanna play a girl anything. And if you know Angelica Deshawn, I like me some nice things, okay? <laughs> I can't. I can't live off of ramen noodles forever. That was a college thing. That's not a, that's not a forever thing. <laughs> so I could not, you know, great opportunity was able to go and touch down in New York for a little bit, did a little bit of something, something in LA. But ultimately I knew I wanted to take my hometown and I wanted to do what I dreamed of here. My family's here, my friends are here, my day ones are here, my people, my tribe is here. So I definitely knew that Kansas City had the opportunity, like I said, to be the big booty jitty, the BBL of Fashion Week, right? Yeah. Um, of fashion, period. So it really was me creating that space for myself um, or finding where that space is already created and elevating and really using that to my advantage to live in a space where I'm happy, right? Um, so again, fast forward to Fashion Week and being able to participate in that started as a volunteer, really was grinding. There was not a task that somebody could give me that I'd be like, nah, I'm not doing it. What, you want me to make sure that the doors are locked? Cool, I'll do it. And I'll do it as happy as I can be, like smiling. <laughs> Lock in the door, like <laughs> <laughs> whatever you need me to do. But I think again, that's the difference between like someone who's determined and someone who just wants to be, right? Like, mm. right, am that's I wrong? That's powerful. Right? Yeah. If, if you are determined, there is not a task that somebody can give you that's beneath you. Uh. And, and you know the best advice? Now my dad, so part Panamanian, part black, okay? So that's where the glow comes from, if you wanna <laughs> know. Um, but that's where my work ethic came from. Like my dad came to the United States solely. The only reason why he came here was to play ball, to play basketball. So him and my mom met in college and my dad was always, I'm very much my dad's daughter in the sense of he was always a grinder. Right, but he was always a people person. And that's the thing, he was like, you can never do a task, you can't be the boss if you don't know what it's like to do the jo every job under that. Mm -hmm. Because people will respect you, uh, Yeah. right? They'll respect you. So no matter how big I get, or how much I've grown in this industry, I am still not above getting behind a chair, getting on the ground, doing whatever I need to do. Because that's how people will respect you. Um, and that's just how you get stuff done in that's general. How you get like, it done. I think it kind of just shows your character as well yes. because, like, you're not above anyone else. Never. Like, if somebody needs help with something, just help with it. Yes. Like, if you're in a group and you're all working towards a common goal, then why would you turn down anything that someone needed help right. with? Like, that's if you're there to make it happen, then you're going to make it happen. Right. And that's what puts, to circle back, you know, I always got to relate back to what I say, but that's what puts the heart. When people say, you know, when we're the heartland, and again, there's something about this Midwest work ethic. Let's keep it real. Whenever I was going elsewhere and doing the thing, they're like, dang, what can't you do? Like, that is my, that is my motto. What can't I do? Uh. And again, oops, I got the mic wrong. <laughs> but again, it's about, like, putting out that energy. It's like, I'm going to do whatever I can in this building. So when people leave, they're like, dang, we really couldn't have done it without Angelica. What did she not do? Like, what did she not do? So... Again, fast forward to what else I added to my repertoire. So started doing, again, the PR, the fashion, added barbering to my plate, added, um, I'm a wardrobe stylist. I also am a going to school to do makeup. So literally, there is not a task that you can say, you know, if Angelica's in the building, what can't she do? You'll figure it out. I will figure <laughs> it out, honey. I will figure, I'll watch a YouTube. I will call whoever. I'll 
phone a friend, yeah. you know, like I will resource. But I also, too, will take the opportunity to get to know the people who are doing it. And again, I think people who in my current role, so for KCFW, for y'all who don't know, um, when I am backstage, I am the style team director. So fast forward to present day, after doing volunteering for those seasons, gradually moved up, got to know the coordinator who was doing running the show, Ashley, shout out to you, Ashley, uh, my home girl. <laughs> she was <laughs> running the show backstage and when Ashley got an opportunity, that's super dope, she, I was the first person she turned to and was like, hey Angelica, there's this opportunity and I literally, when I was going through the people, you were the first person and the only person really that I could think of. That says something, y'all. Mm -hmm. That girl never, like, truly to be honest with you, all she saw me do was grinding, right? She never sat, so I, I have all these skill sets, but I can't tell you one time that Ashley like sat there and like watched me do someone's hair or watched me do someone's makeup. She just knew I was capable. That says a bunch, right? Mm -hmm. That says a lot, and you're right. It's just people knowing like, I'm a huge component of energy. Um, so it's like given that vibe, like every time I was around her, she was like, I just, you're just a go-getter. Like there was no one I could think to do it. Um, so she gave me the opportunity just after, again, just being side by side with her for one season. And then this opened up and she was like, yo, it's yours if you want it. And then it was my, it was my opportunity at that point. One, I gave her her flowers. I always will continue to do that because I wouldn't have this opportunity without her. Regardless of how long I'm in this position, I will still revert back to say, Ashley, thank you, girl. Like, she could have picked anybody. She could have picked literally anybody. She had a room full of makeup artists, hairstyles, well-connected. But it, when she called my name, she called my number, that says, a, that says so much, right? So it was me being in this role now to say, okay, what can I do to show her that her decision was the best damn decision she could have made? right? Mm -hmm. And carry out that legacy of greatness and also add to what she's already built, right? If I came in and I kept things the same, okay. But at the same time, it is my goal anytime that I get into a position um, is to look around and really see what people need. Mm -hmm. That's what change is about, right? It's not about what do you want to do, Angelica? No, it's about what do the people need? Yeah. And like, situational awareness helps a lot with yes. that too like you can tell when somebody's struggling or yep. needs help with somebody like it's just kind of like a look on the face yep. or like you know it's just kind of like the person to person connection that's, that's exactly required right. there because if you know somebody and like you can just spot it out it's like yeah that's the person that like needs me the most right. and I'm going to help them attack whatever they're accomplishing right now and that's so dope that you say that because coolest thing that was said to me um, last season, Hunter, the model, Hunter Ambrose, you guys familiar mm -hmm. with him? Super dope dude. Backstage, I'm doing my thing, I'm on the mic. My thing, I, I, again, it's me just living in my space, living into who I am as a person. So I'm back there doing my thing and he approaches me and he's like, Angelica, man, I just have to tell you, like, you're killing it back here. He was like, I just have to, I, I just have to tell you this, like, you can tell by the way that you move in this room that you have been in rooms where you've been doing your thing and people didn't see you because you make sure that every person back here is seen. That touched my soul so much, y'all, because that was my internal goal. So when my internal goal is recognized by somebody who doesn't even know what my internal goal is, y'all. You, you won. I you won. You got your point across, yeah. Well, and, and just to hit on that component yeah. of your energy and everything that you're doing, you know, I, I think literally, a lot of people, a lot of our listeners don't know, but any of the music background that you heard during our first couple of episodes, specifically when we were filming at Union Station, <laughs> that was Angelica. That was her yeah. hyping up uh, backstage yes. and keeping it fun and playing the hip hop that she loves. I and, love it. You know, I will say that was something that, you know, I mean, we were texting, you know, in our group chat, our yeah. Fashion Hive group chat, like, keep up the music mm -hmm. as we're interviewing. You know, right. like, <laughs> right. hey, hey, turn it up. We're done with an interview. Yeah, turn you, it down. We're about to you start. Guys me. Yeah, you guys sent me. Yeah, you guys like, what? What is this playlist? I'm like, this is called Life, honey. This is called Soundtrack of Angelica Deshawn, Volume One, coming to uh, Spotify. No. There you go. <laughs> no, but yeah. that's awesome. I'm glad yeah. to hear that. You know, like you said, that Hunter, Hunter, and others. Yeah. Because it's not just Hunter. Um, he just said it. He said it. He it, said it. And and for some people, they won't say it and they won't yeah. give the flowers, so to speak. Yeah. Um, but yeah, kudos to you. That's Thank awesome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, and I was approaching right. Like there was a, several people. It just hit me when. 
Hunter, I mean, he literally stopped in the middle. There was models moving everywhere. He got out of his seat to come and say that to me, so I knew. And I could tell, you know, when somebody was really just moved by something, and it was really, it was a moving moment. I'm not going to lie. Like, I kind of I teared up. I was like, you're going to make me cry, and I'm trying to get on this mic, and I'm trying to, you know. <laughs> but I was like, but I appreciated it so much. It was such a beautiful moment. But, again, it came full circle for me. Again, my journey is still, I'm still grinding. Like, no matter how much I keep growing, no matter how much my client book grows or how much recognition I get from people, and I, and I appreciate it, I, you know, it, it, it gives me so much motivation. But I think for me, I'm going to continue to be this person because knowing that I impact people like that, that's greater than any accomplishment for me, like truly. Like I think that's why I love styling and I love the makeup piece of it because it's not just about fashion, right? It's not about that. I think if you, that's what people have like a misconceived um, notion about the fashion industry. I think a majority of the people who are in this and especially Heartland Fashion, y'all, is we are in it because we see how incredible it makes someone feel, right? Like you get this model who's coming in, she may not have like the best day or even hair and makeup artists, like they're coming in, they're just trying to get by, they're just trying to live. And when you can turn their energy over to where you see them dancing and vibing and talking and networking, like y'all, I cannot tell you how much that feeds my soul. Like yeah. it is a beautiful thing. And I know that's true across our whole our whole squad as a Kansas City Fashion Week unit um, and what really attracted me to it because the only way that I can go into greatness is if I have great people beside me. And y'all are great people. That means a lot. <laughs> yeah. Thank you much. You right back are, at you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right back. But I mean it. Like it's, it's, a, it's an, a dope environment to be in. I am grateful. Um, again, the road, the road to doing what you want to do is not easy. We all know that, right? It's not easy. But, and you're going to have, again, everything's not roses and sunshine. Were there dark days? Yes, there were. Do, were are there still some days where you're like, Lord, you know, what is she doing? What do I do? You know, yeah, there are. But overall, there's greatness and there's power in Kansas City Fashion Week, the movement that we're doing here. Um, there's a great deal of notoriety that we're starting to see across you know, these boards where we're put into the same category as New York Fashion Week. And that's a huge honor, like, mm -hmm. right? But we are humble heads. Like, that's what I call it. I'm a humble yes. head. Like, yeah. I, I will, I'll grow, honey. I don't care if I'm sitting amongst the kings and queens, but I'm still humble because, one, my family keeps me humble. They ain't going to let me live. They're not going to let me. One, I'm six, honey. They, they don't let me live. Mm -hmm. But I appreciate it. I appreciate the fact that the humbleness of our squad is the fact that we are all inclusive. We, we want people to win. We want each other to win. And there's never stepping on heads. It's always clapping and congratulating. And that's, that's a beautiful thing. And I think that's where people don't realize, like in fashion, yeah, there are, there are some organizations that may not lead in that same energy, but we do. And I think that's why we continue to win. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Yeah. So one of the things that you said that I kind of want to hear both of your guys' thoughts on, yeah. on this is you had mentioned, you know, we're inclusive and, and we are um, you know, we allow to, we allow others to have a platform that may not have a platform, whether yeah. it's the stylist, whether it's models, uh, what would you guys say, you know, right now, everything that's going on, would you say is the most impactful way to be involved in the community? I mean, whether that's for you guys, or maybe that's for, for people who are listening, who are trying to get involved with fashion yeah. week or just trying to get in, not even Kansas city fashion week, but just fashion in general. Um, what would you guys say is a good way to plug into some of that stuff? Well, that, I, think that's a good thing. Yeah. I think it starts on like a personal like level, like what yes. you're doing in your day to day life. Like it literally comes down to who you follow on Instagram and what you are putting in your line of vision every single day to keep you motivated. Like follow people that have jobs that you want. That is so important to like start adapting the lifestyle that you want. I think that is so important is mm -hmm. it puts you in the mindset of where you're going, what direction, and it keeps you like motivated every day so that you're seeing what you want and you're reminding yourself what you're gonna get. Right, and I, I think to go off of that, like I couldn't agree more. I, I think it's the one thing that my dad told me from when I was mm -hmm. young, he was like, you need to dress for the role, dress for the role that you want, not for where you're at, mm -hmm. right? So come, live out loud. I tell people that all the time. like. There is never, when people, when I have clients, I'm styling them and they're like, you know, like, I don't know if I can wear that, Angelica, like, I'm this old or blah, blah, blah. Girl, you are alive, you got a pulse, you better live out loud. You wear what makes you feel like you. 
Mm -hmm. And if you come into the room every time as your genuine self, people are going to notice that. They're going to want that energy around you. So my best advice for people who want to get into fashion and who are just, you know, just in general, just who want to break through in whatever endeavor that you have, a personal endeavor, live out loud. Be yourself. We get one go around this beautiful planet, right? So if you don't come with that energy of like, yo, there's going to be bad days, but I'm going to come as myself every single day. I'm going to come as myself. I'm going to, even in corporate America, I got a sleeve. I got, you know, I got my nose piercing. And I'm respectful of the environment when I'm in that space. But at the same time, I, I can't silence myself to let them live. I can only show up as my professional self and show them that what I'm doing is just me. And they, they'll, they'll love it because I will come with that energy of, I'm here to do what I need to do, but I'm going to come as myself. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's powerful. Yeah. yeah. And it's easy to hear, but harder to implement. Exactly. Like, you just, uh, yeah. I mean, it's really hard to, like, tell someone how to be themselves because yeah. we can't tell you how to do that. Mm -hmm. That, like, comes from yourself. Yeah. And once you start, like, you know, letting your personality shine, like, I swear it gets easier. Like, you just Absolutely. have to be comfortable in the room. And the quieter you are, you just start to kind of disappear into the background. And yep. that's really important to avoid. Yep. Yeah. And, and again, I, I, you're right. Like, you, it's hard to tell people. And you have evolutions, right? Like, you don't, I wasn't always this person. Like, I wasn't anybody who knew me back in the day. Like, I was a tomboy. I, I played ball. Like, now you can't, you, I really wear, like, pants I'm usually in a dress or something like that and that's and that's again it's it's not saying that that is not who I am it's just you evolve like you're constantly and, and be okay with that be okay with knowing that evolutions will come and be patient with yourself um you know like they say that saying Rome wasn't built in a day it's like yeah but and neither were you you yeah. know what I'm saying like you and, and don't be afraid to even when you get don't listen to people's uh, rhetoric of like yeah I'm, I'm here I should be there no, you were exactly where you need to be right then. And there's never a day where you can't really like literally delete the hard drive and start all over. And that's okay. Like it's it's okay. It's just, again, you're right. You can't tell people how to be comfortable with themselves, but you can support them. And I think that's another thing too is like find a community. Find people you can lean on. Like, And, and you would be surprised like who will be your confidant, yeah. right? Well, and I, I want to hit on that. You, yeah, you mentioned a community and and – um, a community that comes to mind is the LGBTQ community yeah. that you were at the Mid America Chamber, I did. Co uh, Chamber of Commerce yes. uh, gala that they had. I did. Um, so let's kind of dive into that a little bit in terms of you know if we're talking community, mm -hmm. what what would um, and, and even the LGBTQ community in, yeah. in, in terms of that, you know, how how is it that those end of, that we can embrace those individuals. Um, when it comes to fashion and when it comes to, um, you know, hair and makeup and, and their style. Yeah. And, and maybe, like I said, walk it back and maybe let's just say style overall. Yeah. Um, because I think that that's something that it's dominating the news right now, right? You know, that there's a lot of things that a lot of people um, are upset that people are dressing a certain way or that they're wearing makeup or that they're doing this. And I'm not saying any of this to get controversial right. here. Um, but really, I'd like to hear what your guys' thoughts are on almost the demonizing um and, yeah. and again you know I, i'm not we're not trying to turn this into no. a news talk show mm -hmm. or you know anything like that but you know i'd love to hear your guys' thoughts coming from a fashion perspective right. and i think it's just real conversation too like um and i, I mean i have my take on do you want to yeah i think like it all starts with representation because if you don't have like the example you use, if you don't have LGBTQ designers, then right. you're not go. Which we've always had LGBTQ All designers. Let's the start there. Of time, girl. Um, the, yes. Yeah. We've had them. We love them. They're love. the best of, of all the designers, yes. if we're being totally honest. I mean, honest. if we're being real, which this conversation is about realness, honey, they are the best out there. Slay. Slay. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period with a T. Please spell it for the folks. Put it on the screen. <laughs> um, but like, you know, s on social media, um, like if it's makeup, if mm -hmm. it's certain styles that aren't considered, I don't know, normal, like out of the box styles, out of the box makeup, out of the box hair, like all of that just needs to be like normalized yes. and accepted. Like people just need to stop seeing stuff as weird. Like right. just cause it's not something you want to do doesn't mean it's weird. Just cause a community does this doesn't mean it's weird. Like. 
Right. Just applaud it and move on. That is the fir- that is the big part. So for me, like you were saying, I did. I I am a f- I am a huge supporter. I literally rally. Um, so growing up, like that's that's the beautiful thing about going at growing up in a multi multicultural family. There was nothing like in our family that people we looked at as like unusual or or strange like our family was so open to whatever whenever and my and my parents raised me like listen people are people Mm -hmm. you the minute you look at people other than that there's something wrong with you not them right and I and I'm a firm believer in that and that's why yes I was there my my brothers they're my brothers I call my brothers like family to me they are a couple and I sub- I rock with them so hard. I am there. I support every endeavor. I will speak to the masses from the mountaintops. Like, respect people. Um, respect people for who they are. And again, if I would not be true to the live out loud culture if it wasn't for if it if I thought otherwise, right? Mm-hmm. It's not about looking at men wearing makeup, women wearing makeup. It's makeup, and it's somebody. And and if you want to put that dress on, if you want to put that skirt on, honey, and you want to go out there, you just better do it right. That's all <laughs> I ask, right? You just better do it right, and you just better have that energy. At the end of the day, it's a person living in their true element, and I will never, I will never support anyone who wants to silence someone's expression, mm-hmm. and that's it. Like, it's not it to me. It's never about gender. It's never about... Like, it's just about people. Uh. We are one people, mm-hmm. and yeah. that's it. Something I'm really looking forward to in my lifetime is seeing, like, the disintegration of labels. Yes. Of everything. Like, in a perfect world, like, there's just one clothing section. One. Like, there's not a men's section right. and a women's class section. Like, maybe there's different types of fit, like, right. in one Cut, style. Cut. Yeah. But, like, there doesn't, like, not everything has to be gendered. There does no. not have to be one side of the shaving aisle for men and the other side for women it makes no sense it's all the same thing because i will tell you a man's razor honey that i get this baby soft legs from (laughs) using them (laughs) listen (laughs) listen and i will dabble all my streetwear if i'm really trying to do a good look with a t-shirt the dudes be bringing in the graphic tees like come on Mm -hmm. like so yes i agree with you girl like i agree a hundred percent that we as a people just need to see people period we just need to see things as like this is where you shop Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. this is where you shop this is where you this is where you buy makeup it doesn't matter who is putting it on and i can tell you this the companies who are selling this merch they don't give a damn yeah Mm -hmm. it's bottom line can i say that can i say damn okay (laughs) 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 it's bottom line we might even put something in there to make it sound like you cuss okay blur blur it out (laughs) (laughs) Like Angelica goes <laughs> off. That's what the <laughs> <laughs> she lost it. She lost it. But for real, like these, they don't care. At the end of the day, you if if they are making post because they feel some type of way about somebody not buying it. Okay, honey. Then what happens when all people pull out? Mm. <laughs> okay, if we're gonna act like that, then mm-hmm. and that's what that's what gets people in trouble. When you stop looking at people as people and you start segmenting out who can do what, when, and where. That's when you're co- you're costing yourself the bottom line. Right. So yeah. acceptance is only going to profit you, and it but it needs to be genuine. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you can tell when people are literally just like just be real about it. Yeah. Like, everybody's a person. Well, and I think you know, I mean, t- you talked about labels and, and yeah. talking about you know wearing whatever you want to wear. I mean, I don't know how many times and when I worked for Congress mm-hmm. that. Um, not even in my office, not in my office, but rather when I would go out, you know, like I, I would wear a pink shirt or I'd have a, a, a purple, you know, a purple button up or whatever I had. And Stare. people are like, oh, like, are you, are you, you know, and it's like, no, I'm just wearing a shirt. Like, I just, <laughs> no, honey, just I just know how to bring yeah. good, good style right. to the table. And I'm sorry, pink looks good on me. Uh, you know no, what I mean? No, <laughs> honey, it's that melanin. <laughs> All right. You know, so it was just like, um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I think. I think color, uh, you know, color and clothes is one of those things, at least from a uh, men's perspective, that, mm-hmm. you know, at some point, yeah, men wear pink, period. Right. They don't have to be part of the LGBTQ community. They don't have to be part of, um, uh, you know, some group, you know, that right. it's just someone wearing a shirt. Right. And I think know? going back to what you initially said and what Shaylee was saying, like, look, if we really want to keep it real, everything that we do as a people, as far as fashion, forwardness, is really derivative towards that community. They give us 
they give us that life. Like they are the most live out loud, beautiful community ever. Like, so when it comes to color and it comes to like, yo, I, I, I'm going to put this together and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do it. That, that is, that's where it comes from. The designers who are out there who are making these beautiful couture gowns, like give them their, give them their props. Like that is where they are the ones who are studying trends, who are creating these amazing abilities for guys now. Like you look at our pro athletes, they're more inclined to wear, they're wearing the colors, they're wearing the skirts. Travis Scott and them are putting our, or Kendrick Lamar is putting on a skirt and coming out and doing his thing. And that is all because of a live out loud community gave them that yep. that ability, right? Mm-hmm. right? So let's just let's just keep it real. Like at the end of the day, we get a lot of our influence from that community. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, and you know, I mean, ancient uh, not ancient uh, by any means, but you know, culture, European culture where they were wearing kilts, you know, yeah. in some of those countries like Okay, so what's the difference between a kilt and a skirt? Absolutely. And then people are like, uh, a hook okay. and eye, uh-huh. eye closure. It's <laughs> just talking fat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the, it's the meaning mm. that people assign to things. Yes. That's absolutely meaningless. Mm. Girl, mm-hmm. say that again. Can we say that again for <laughs> the people in the back? back it up. Right. Okay, all right. Let's rewind no, it. Rewind all right. it, girl. Right. It's the meaning that people assign mm-hmm. to things that mm-hmm. is meaningless. Ugh. It's yeah. like, what point? You know, Look. it doesn't mean anything, but you're trying to make it mean something Look. like just you're wasting your energy. If I wouldn't get in trouble for dropping this mic, honey, because that <laughs> was a <laughs> mic drop moment. Look, yeah. that, that. Yes. Yes. Like the meaninglessness. Like, let's get rid of all that. Think about one. If people just thought about it, like I said, energy is big for me. If you put that down, like put that all that energy that you're spending hating on somebody for no reason, put that on the table, honey, unload it. Your life would be a lot better. You got, there's other things to focus on. Worry about yourself. Why yeah. don't you worry about <laughs> hating about some sports you know team what I or mean? how bad some movie right? just bombed rather than right. worry about what your worry neighbor's doing. Worry about that. You know what I mean? Worry about that. Worry about your contour blend. Leave yeah. us alone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Worry like about the that. minutes that people can get back in their lives that yes. they're spending like commenting mean things or just like spreading mm. hate. It's like... Go learn a new language or something. You know what, exactly, <laughs> right? We we really do yeah. need to up our language game, y'all. Like, let's learn listen. how to hate in Spanish. Right, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You want to come to me? Yeah, come what, to me. That's in what Shaylee's saying. Que She's paso. like, <laughs> que paso, bruh. Like, let's talk. <laughs> oh, shit. What's up? Let's talk, okay? Right. Yes, right. If you're going to spend that energy hating, then at least come to me in a different language, okay? <laughs> I'm not listening. At least make me look it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> If we're going to be invested, yeah. let me look something up, okay? Like, that outfit looks dumb. <laughs> right. What are we, second graders? <laughs> right. You look stupid. <laughs> oh, no. no. No, you care? You? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, one person of millions. That really hurt me. <laughs> no, but for real, like, bye. <laughs> yeah. So, so let's walk it back a, a couple of steps. Sorry, I kind of threw us down. <laughs> a, I love that. Um, you were talking about the uh, really the reformation of of the backstage you know right. you took it to another level and right. um I, everyone will say it tisha will say it lane will say it and a lot of us on staff everyone on staff will say it you know this last go around with the hair and makeup team style team was the most put together and that's not bashing so. any that's not bashing anyone no. else that's saying that you took it from an excellent level and you made it a, you know, you put it I on the Hall that. of Fame level, I right? I appreciate that. Um, so. Not, but LeBron James and <laughs> over here. Right. Yeah. It went from Michael Jordan <laughs> to LeBron or if you're a LeBron yeah, to I'm Michael a, Jordan, whatever. Listen, listen. Uh, if you come to me with anything other than LeBron energy. Yeah. We might have a conversation. <laughs> have, okay. T- real quick. That's time out. Time out. After okay, this okay, whole okay. Barbie or, ordeal, right? Yes. People are like, Margot Robbie's better than Meryl Streep. That's what I heard. I, I have not heard, heard that. Yeah. But right. also I'll, I'll go find the Instagram post. People Look, were hating on that. That's this a whole person. nother podcast. <laughs> okay. We could go we could go hours. <laughs> for hours. Okay. That's a we need to pull up charts. We got some cross analysis. We're gonna bring in some specialists. Right, we need the right. data. You know what I mean? Yeah. We need people to come in. We need some references. We gotta put up a whole whole thing online it's just that's another day yeah well <laughs> needless to say it yes. was kind of blasphemous right I was like, that's, you know. that's crazy somebody is really out there talking okay. <laughs> Lord. uh anyways <laughs> going back to it so yeah. you know you you made some changes and mm-hmm. and if you want to dive into a little bit of that yeah but then also the other component is 
what are your next steps and where can people plug in if they're looking to get involved specifically with the style team? Yeah, dope. Uh, so changes, and I appreciate that. Like that, I, oh, thank you. Um, I'd like to thank God first and foremost. No, um, here's your flowers. Here's my so right. Give me my flowers. Oh, Give me the whole, I want over the pot. There. I want the whole pot. I want a nursery. Um, <laughs> no, but thank you. I appreciate that, y'all. Like the one thing this season, and again, it goes back to just having the opportunity to see things evolve like that's been my message today and I really and I really preach that because it's important um, I've been around for a few seasons so I was able to see it from all sides I saw it as a volunteer I saw it as a participant I saw it as the next in command and I saw it from the top mm. and when you can come into some a space like that there's no way in hell you can't make changes that will that will greatly affect everybody involved even the people who are not back there like you said other people saw that because I was able to look at it from a bird's eye view. Like, if we improve this part, what's going to do for the front of the house? If we improve this part, what is it going to do for hospitality? If I improve this part? So, again, it's about taking my experiences and seeing how it will play out for everyone directly involved and indirectly involved. Right. So I appreciate that. I, uh, that was my whole goal. It was taking my experiences and saying, OK, what can I do to make everybody happier with what's going on? And again, not bashing on anything because a foundation was laid. It was up to me to build onto that foundation, right? Um, so yeah, I took in, the, what came into that was looking at, you know, what I heard over and over, season after season, everybody gets common, there's common denominators that come back when it comes to feedback, right? And even your greatest leaders, if they're not asking for feedback, then they're not leading right, right? And like, I want the raw, I want the ugly, I want the real, like, Tell me my shoes were bad. Like, <laughs> tell, me, <laughs> tell me what made you mad. Like, uh, tell me. And, uh, but also the one thing I say too is like, if you're going to come to me with a problem, come with a solution, right? Because I, I'm that person too. Like, if, again, going back to my hip hop reference, because my life is a musical, mm -hmm. if you want a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> tell me what it is. Tell me what your problem is and I will so I'll do my best to solve it. And if I can't come to a full, a full, um, you know, res resolution really quickly, I can at least have like a foundation of where I can go to improve that experience because there's always going to be room for improvement. But I knew that my first, my first go round one was again to fill these shoes, like fill these shoes and also listen to the feedback that I got and deliver an experience that I would enjoy because I know in turn everyone else is going to enjoy it if, if I took their feedback into consideration. Yeah. So that's what I did. Okay. Yeah. So what did that look like? creating those QR codes, giving the people who are greatly involved, like to get involved into this hair and makeup people I'm speaking to you right now and not just in Kansas City, everywhere. Like I said, Kansas City Fashion Week is a force to be reckoned with. We know that here. Um, but knowing that you could be part of something that's equivalent to New York Fashion Week, period. Like, <laughs> that's it. Um, yeah, it's going to be, there's Friday and Saturday times that are available. We have shows the 20th through the 23rd this season. Um, and then we have a gallery where you could provide your expertise on those days. Shout out Gracie. Shout out to Gracie Key doing her thing. Um, but yeah, the way that you get involved with that is just going to KCFW.com, clicking on participation, filling out the hair and makeup squad application. You want to upload those images of what you do. Show me what you're doing out in the streets. What are the people loving? Um, once you do that, then it comes to me and I, I really look at it to determine like, yo, this would be an, a dope opportunity for you to be backstage with us. 98.8% um, of the time, my applications are approved. Uh. If you have that skill set, you have that drive. Like, show me your energy. Show me what you're out here doing. I'm going to give you a shot, right? Then, the, again, going back to it, how do you keep that spot? You come with that energy. I ask just people come back. They're positive and ready to do work, right? I'm going to try and cut you as soon as possible as far as, like, call times, and when we get done, last year, what was a game changer is the fact that we cut the floor at 2 o'clock. Uh. That was unheard of. Show starts at 6. We cut at 2. I had so many people that were like, that's it? That's again? We're done? Like, I want to stay. Like, when you create an atmosphere where it's like a party and not a job, now we're going to get things done because we work as a community, right? Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. That's what I created back there. It's like, we are not in this alone. If you see your sister struggling over there, you reach over. Your brother, you reach over and you say, can I help you? Right? I had, I had an open communication guideline too. If I put somebody in your chair and you don't know how to do it, you s look at me in the face and you say, hey, huh. 
this ain't for me. <laughs> and I say, cool, and I'll put them with someone else, but you know what I do in this turn? I say, hey, do you wanna, you're not required, but if you wanna watch Santos do this beat real quick so you know how to do it, and, that, and again, that's part of the networking. That's part of the environment I'm creating back there. So no one ever feels like they're left out. They're feeling included, and they're all part of getting the thing done, right? And really, you're setting them up for success. Setting them up. I will never put anybody in a, in a position of failure. That's yeah. not, this is not who I am as a person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yes, correct. I am setting you up for success. And then the cool thing about that, what happens, what is your buy or what is your incentive for participation is really what I like to, what I like to tell folks is that, any imagery that we take, our photography team, any imagery that we take um, that you are part of, we make sure to tag you on that. So we have the QR codes where you'll get your recognition. Any social media that we post, you'll get your recognition. And that's part of your portfolio. That's part yeah. of something you can keep forever. You can post it online. You keep that forever. So every time that you put your hands on somebody, I'm going to make sure you get your flowers for it. Yeah. No, that's awesome. Yep. Well, I mean... Uh, from coming from a perspective of someone who has been in a style chair, right? You know, yeah. you, you've modeled several times. What would you say? I mean, kind of do like a little a little thing here. I mean, what would you say was your favorite Ooh. part? Your least favorite part? I'm not asking for names or I seasons. Okay. But you know, um, or you know, shout out good. Yeah. I'm not asking for names on bad. Um, but let's hear a little bit about from a model's perspective. I love that. Yeah. And then for some of our models. You know, comment on our post, comment on our videos. What what was your favorite? What was your least favorite? Yeah. Provide a little bit of feedback. Yes. Or and then anyone around the world, uh, or around the nation, you know, comment what your guys' thoughts are on that. So let, let's yeah. hear a little bit about you know what it looks like from that. the eyes of a model. Yeah. Well, I can say there was a huge obvious difference oh. in the pre Angelica and the post Angelica hey. days. Like I could feel like. This was the first season, and by this season, I mean last season, yeah. that I walked backstage and was instantly put in a makeup chair. I was, mm. like, shocked. I was I, I was like so Taylor excited. Got like, <laughs> like, you got it down to mm. a science, like a routine. Mm. Like, it was so spot on, and, Thank like, you. everything was done. Everything was done on time, and it was the first season that I wasn't finishing my own makeup. Like, Girl, I was not having that. Yeah, it like. it was it was great. Like, Yay. I I loved it. It was Aww. it was awesome this year. Anything um, that you would change though? Like, I know there's always room. No. Um. Now I have to th think yeah. about it. Yeah. I, what? I, I, I th I'd say for this year, like it was really great. I loved that you had the forms that we filled out. Yeah. That kind of helped. It it also helped to break the ice with your makeup mm -hmm. and hair person because mm. there have been seasons where. Like, I'm just sitting in a chair, and they're just doing my hair, and we're not really Awkward. talking to each other. I don't have, you know, I, I you know, there's no, like, conversation initiated be beyond, like, what's your skin texture? Mm -hmm. um, so, like, I was able to really, like, get to know all of my so hair and makeup people this season. And and so that says a lot. Yeah. Like, it changed the whole trajectory of, like, your day when it came mm -hmm. to it because you got to know someone. Like, mm -hmm. And that's, again, that's creating that community that I wanted. So that's dope. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, that's that. great. Yay. That is awesome. Yeah. yeah. So in the past, like, what do you feel? You So you're saying in the past you didn't really have, you said it was a turnover. In the past, uh, yeah, like, there would be just many hours where yeah. we were sitting around. Like, you might have to be there at 830, but you might not do anything until noon. Yeah. And that was always kind of unfortunate, but yeah. it was not the case at all this year. Yeah. Everything was so well structured. Yeah. And that's my thing, too. Like, I value people's time. I know that it was hard getting out of bed for all of us that day. And then this season, if y'all remember, we had that weather. The weather was not yes. playing with us. It was like she was trying to take me out. I was <laughs> like, look, you ain't coming for my squad. We got <laughs> this. OK, you can bring whatever you want, but we're not we're not going to let it. But, yeah, that was my whole thing. I was like, uh, I didn't I wanted you guys to have the time to get something to eat. Again, y you think about all those like self-care to me is a big component and I wanted that self-care aspect. Again, I, I took in all aspects of like, what's going to be good for the models? What's going to be good for my squad? Like what self-care is huge and it's going to make people do their job better. It's going to make people happier. Like everyone that you engaged with that day, I'm, it sounds like had a good attitude mm -hmm. and that's really important to me. Energy is contagious, y'all. Like, so 
that is a beautiful thing to hear that you sat and as a model experience that you sat there and you're like, yo, like I got to know this person. It was super cool. We had a great conversation. And then I went right from here to makeup and then you were free to roam about the cabin. I love it. (laughs) That's awesome. That is awesome. That's super dope. I love it. Thanks for that, honey. Yeah, of course. Well, that was awesome to hear that. Yeah. I mean, just right then and there. Sorry to put you on the spot. No, right. right. Like, I just kind of put, <laughs> put the style team like, all right, here we go. We might be crucifying her right <laughs> Wait, now. Santa was like, look her in the eye. And tell her what she did wrong. What did <laughs> I want to know it all. I want to know it I all. I want names. Right. Let's go ahead and figure out their Instagrams. We're going to drop them below. I would like you to point your finger at <laughs> I'm oh, teasing. Goodness. I'm teasing. That was dope, though. I love it. I, I'm always open to feedback. Like, again, grew up with a constructive criticism dad. Like, I could ball out. Like, I played basketball growing up, and I could have, like, like putting down triple doubles, like LeBron game. I'm coming out, like, my hand's still in the air. My dad's like, baba. <laughs> 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 now you know. I'm like, yeah. thanks, daddy. But again, it helps me. Like, the more I can do to help everybody else, it's just going to make, make things easier for everyone. So. If people want to learn more from you yeah. or just connect with you, where can they find you on social media? Yeah. yeah, so I, and that's a thing too. So that's the one area that I need to lean in on my people about being better at social media. But I do have Insta, I have Facebook. So Instagram, you can find me at Angelica Deshawn Styling. Um, also my personal page is just Angelica Deshawn XO. I'm on um, all social media platforms. Haven't really hooked up on the thread. We got to talk about that. Are y'all threading? No. Are y'all sewing? I'm, I'm <laughs> trying. Are you trying? I, I, I've, I've threaded a couple times. Okay. But um, honestly, I get like really um, anxious because yeah. I'm like, this is just some random thought that popped in my head that nobody else is probably going to understand. Uh-huh. But like, I just have to tell myself to like not care. Right. Okay, give us an example. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like... <laughs> Okay, for example, the last thing I threaded, I was on the way to the zoo and I saw okay. a billboard for the zoo. So I tweeted. <laughs> Isn't it ironic? Did so, you know, Lena? So I, my, my thread said, seeing a billboard for the place you're driving to is so validating. Yes. <laughs> like, so, yes. so that's what I tweeted. So I, I threaded. It. I threaded. I didn't tweet it. I, I threaded it. Oh. Um, and is so it now X'd it? What is it? Right. You, you just say on. tweet. You don't say I, tweet anymore. Yeah, yeah. What is it? I yeah I have no I idea <laughs> I have not right. um, mixed it no <laughs> I, don't I don't know yeah I haven't Good question. Um, I haven't been on that platform right <laughs> that, that platform. platform in a while so I haven't been on the since new. the p- purchase yeah, right since I, the I haven't since the, since the transition the no I right, haven't I, I haven't okay. opened right. it I actually removed it from my home screen because oh. I just Ooh. I Done never I, didn't, I wasn't using it before <laughs> so right. I'll make that clear right. I I just. So she took our whole billboard to the thread, honey. <laughs> <laughs> so validating. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I love it. So hold up, hold up. <laughs> so you say it's validating. <laughs> My thought is I'm within, I mean, what was the mile radius? Um, Probably like, I was still maybe like 20 miles away. Okay. That's so to me, mm-hmm. this is my thought. Go like, I'm not us. trying to argue with <laughs> you. coming for you. Go. But like, <laughs> <laughs> but like anywhere within, I'm going to say 50 miles of any place, not just mm-hmm. the zoo, um, but a, a venue of that sort. That if you have to say, you know, turn right in 2.9 miles, how like specifically right. Kansas is terrible about it. <laughs> That's so true. You know, like Kansas is like 2.7. Two point three. Random. Turn now, and it's like okay, whatever. Yeah. Um, (laughs) uh, South Dakota is the same way. Like wall drug signs from here. Like as soon as you get in South Dakota, they're like one hundred fifty miles, one hundred forty eight. But my point is, is if like if within fifty miles, mm -hmm. if people don't like you're still advertising for the zoo, using this as an example, then to me you're not going to a place that's like everyone's like. It's just known. You know to go there. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and an example of this is like Union Station. Mm-hmm. Granted, there's not a lot to do there, but like, I could be wrong. I travel a lot around the Kansas City. I don't see signs for Union Station. You are so right. Like, there may be like a you know, and it's kind of the same thing. Like, uh, <laughs> but like even restaurants or rappers. Those are the two things that like, if you have to tell me what you are, then you're not good. Oh. <laughs> Like if you're like he just clout checked the, the <laughs> zoo. Like, Santos just clout checked like, the zoo. No, but like I think, he need, tell, I think like, Santos <laughs> needs to be humbled. You know what I mean? Santos. Like, first of all, he hit you with a disclaimer. Anytime somebody comes with you, like I hear what you just did. I hear you. <laughs> but hear but. me out. Right. But hear me. I'm not trying to be 
But I'm just saying what you just said is wrong. Is not right. <laughs> right. It's so, not valid. Because like, okay, chance <laughs> He's the rapper. He's unvalidating my right. validated right. experience. Right. Right. <laughs> It, no, there is like, meaning in her meaningfulness. Sure, okay, sure. but to you? me, like, <laughs> to me, it's like Chance the Rapper. Yeah, like if you have to say, like, there wasn't like, uh, it wasn't like John Lennon the singer. You know what I mean? He or did like not just John say Lennon John Lennon and Chance the Rapper in the same. <laughs> no, but like, I think <laughs> we need to close this episode <laughs> right. out. Uh, we have brought, reached the end this of this episode. To you about, this is brought to you by what the hell are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? Like, again, can, you you tell, like, can you tell we're sleep deprived? <laughs> right, no kidding, right? If you have to tell people what you do, you're terrible. <laughs> I'm just saying. Right. Sorry. So what was the point of this episode for Fire Angelica then? Oh. oh. Girl, yeah. Santos just came. That's in. going on he threads. Just closed this. Right yeah. now, I'm gonna have to hate post about. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in Spanish. Right, right. I'm gonna <laughs> Put it Dead in ass, else. right? I'm gonna put Japanese it in Spanish. Something. Like, I'm gonna look. You're gonna need a whole translator when I come oh. for you. <laughs> like, I don't even know what this <laughs> is. On our next episode, <laughs> <On> our, <laughs> right. we read. We read we the read thread. The tr- right, we read the thread, and I'm taking. I'm actually going to the X too. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm putting it on the X. Oh, I'll be on goodness. all media platforms in a Mandarin <laughs> coming for Santo. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, let me get on Duolingo real quick. You know quick. what I mean? I'm out there. You better get on there and learn that whole language, honey. Oh. I'm coming for you. Oh, yeah, this is. Yeah, look. well, like Shaylee said, what was the purpose of this episode? No, I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> what was the purpose <laughs> this, of it? This was great. It was great to hear about your experiences. Yeah. You know, like you said, starting from the bottom, now you're yeah. here. Facts. Um, but it's, Drake. it's, yeah, uh, shout out Drake, shout right? Shout him out. Um, but yeah, it was great, and, yeah. and thank you for for being on. Thank Thanks you for, for being part of our team. Um, Absolutely, as a Fashion Week team, as a Fashion Hive team. Yeah, um, the energy you bring is irreplaceable, Aww. and I want you to know that. Um, and so it's it's always great. Um, Look, just me and me. Yeah, a little much. But so a little bit of housekeeping before we hop off and wrap up this episode let's talk about some upcoming things for fashion week Um, we kind of jumped all over the place yeah to include john lennon right r.i.p pour one out for him nobody's (laughs) put put it back in the bottle put it all the way back in the bottle put it all the way back in i I will lick it off the ground we are not we are not stop it zamboni you know imagine imagine listen Today we made Fashion Hive history because we put Chance the Rapper and John Lennon in the same category. Back to you. (laughs) (laughs) Nobody. Right. Nobody. What are we doing? So you had mentioned our uh, Fashion Week shows coming up September 20th through 23rd. Yeah. We have a garden party and moonlight party coming up September 16th. Shout Um, out that three light. Yes, yeah, shout we out get three to light. put our feet on the ground in the new three light. Oh, Black. that's so exciting! You're yes. gonna have to kick me out. It's gonna be a I'll lot be of the fun. Be the first to be the first to be evicted from three light because I won't Kicked leave. Out. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, girl, it was just a garden party. It was three days ago. You're like, I moved in. <laughs> this is mine. You so can um, buy tickets for all of our events at kcfashionweek.com. Yes. Um, Come hang out with yeah, us. We would love to see everybody yes. and meet, meet you guys. I mean, I can't wait to um, have somebody ask me about the podcast you know in real I mean? life. Yeah, yes. facts. <laughs> Let's check some fits. We'll get you on, get you on some camera. Who wants yeah. that? Who wants some clout? Who wants a five minute? <laughs> Come on. Santos won't come for you. That's a disclaimer. <laughs> That's a disclaimer. <laughs> Unless Listen, if I'll do it to Shayla, I'll do it to anyone. <laughs> right, <laughs> facts. He like, will, he will. Let me tell you. He's gonna, Santos is currently learning 12 languages. <laughs> <laughs> he's currently... Got to stay in touch you with, know what I mean? with the people I'm yeah, hating on. Look, if he's going to tell you how to come for him, he's going to do his work too. <laughs> yes. But like That's Shaylee it. said, um, all of our tickets are uh, able yes. to be purchased on KansasCityFashionWeek.com. Um, and then you know, follow us if you're not already on Fashion Hive. Uh, on Instagram and, and on yes. Facebook, and then I'm trying to think. We have Peppy Yoga coming up and a self Aww. defense, self defense, defense. I cannot defense. talk. Self defense. 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 <laughs> I know. That's how I knew you were going. I was like, oh lord. Uh, self defense class uh, coming up as well. So all of that information is there. And then lastly, last thing before we hop off of here, um, the ambassador program. Um, yes. We're working on that currently, and so there's that's an excellent way for anyone in the Kansas City region metro uh to plug into kansas city fashion week help out a bit um get to see a lot of the uh designers and Mm -hmm. get to see a lot of the shows uh 
it's an excellent opportunity to see him for free. Uh, but you do got to work a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and put and in that work. <clears throat> put in that work. But you heard it from Angelica. It pays off. It so. does. It really. I mean, seriously. Good. It, if we have to wrap, if we have to know what the purpose is for Santo of this, oh, <laughs> Santos for this conversation, it really is just to remind you, bring that energy, bring that work ethic. You'll go wherever you want to go. Like you just got to have that. Like make sure people see you as the person to come in there with all. Like what can't I do? Just remember that. Love it. What can I do? Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode. I'm so glad everybody got to finally meet yeah, Angelica because we've got to love her for so long, and now you guys get to love her just as much. And so. I'll be I'm a regular, y'all. <laughs> On the reg. This is just my introduction. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Only the beginning. I know. I need my walkout music. What What would be my walkout song? You know, since I'm a hip hop. Oh, juicy. Okay. Kay. Juicy by. It was all the dream. Hey. <laughs> Facts. That's me. So, could the intro, could we use TI and bring them out? Bring them out. Bring them out. <laughs> what else do you want? I know. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But I'm sure I said juicy. But... All right. <laughs> John Lennon, I would like to. <laughs> well, for that, I say we just, we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Peace. Nice meeting you.